Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your monthly intuitive forecast for the month of April for the sign of Aries. Now the cards that it is that I pulled out for you are Eight of Wands, Four of Cups, the Sun, and the Three of Wands. From the Nature Oracle is Carnation, Follow Your Passion, and Pine, Balance the Emotions. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then the last one is from the Goddess Oracle, which is the card of Golden Opportunity. Now the first thing that it is that I want to talk to you about is this, the essence of following your passion. I don't know if this is something that's trickling over from last month with Mercury being retrograde and a lot of us kind of taking these steps back. But what I don't want is for you to settle into the month of, 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 of April. When we say follow your passion, passion is not something that is taken lightly and it's not a feeling or emotion that we experience lightly. Passion is something that ignites us and stirs us and brings out desire, brings out a feeling and a need for more. And it's something that you can't quiet. It's something that you can't ignore. And it's interesting because there is this essence, this vibe of being bored and almost settling for less than what it is that you deserve. In reality, I, like whatever your intentions is or whatever it is that's going on in your life right now, I can see like the good in you for maybe sticking in with something because maybe you see the benefit of it or maybe there's an expectation or maybe you committed yourself to it. but. Maybe you did this during Mercury Retrograde and now you're kind of changing your mind and looking at things differently. But either way, I see you looking out on the horizon. I see you calling in what it is that you want, what it is that you deserve. And I, I do want to remind you that you should not be settling for less than what it is that you deserve. And that includes relationships, career, um, lifestyle choices, your health, fill in the blank. Nothing should be you know, uh, bringing boredom from you. Nothing should be making you feel unfulfilled. You are Aries. You are the first sign of the entire Zodiac. People call you selfish, but in reality, you are the one to show the rest of the Zodiac how important it is to put yourself first and to, to be bold, to be assertive in the things that it is that you want. There is something about you for the month of April that again is being is feeling restless and needs more for, for yourself. And that is reality. Let's say it's something as simple as you decided that you were gonna commit to a healthier diet. Well, if you're eating the same healthy foods again and again, granted, yes, they're healthy, but you're bored with it. The, the, the good thing is that you are eating healthy, you're taking care of yourself, which is positive and you should keep that going, but it's not for you to move through this life and be bored with your experiences. When it comes to follow your passion and when it comes to connecting with your passion, it I just don't want you to settle for less in any area of your life. If it doesn't inspire you, if it doesn't spark you, it literally has to go. There's one question that um, is coming through and it's or there's one word that's coming through and it's the word dominate. I almost want to write it down. You guys know like when I start getting messages, I want to write them down. That's the word that it is that I want to write down is dominate. And basically what this, when I see the word dominate and when I hear the word dominate, what it is that I'm seeing and feeling is you being assertive and confident and calling in what it is that you rightfully deserve, what it is that you want that's going to make you happy and that's going to fulfill you. When we say dominate, that means that you are not being passive, that means that you are not rolling over on your back, that means that you are confident and you know what it is that you want and you are going to move towards that. The, the question that comes with the word dominate is what prevents me from getting everything that it is that I ever wanted? What prevents me from saying yes to everything that it is that I wanted? Where in my life am I refusing to settle? And you're going to see this trend for you in the month of April. Anything that is asking you to settle, it needs to be removed. It needs to be completely wiped free. Selfishly ask yourself, am I fulfilled? And if you are not, it has to go. Now. This card, Balance Your Emotions, is something that is coming through here. And what I see for this, sometimes when we look at the word balance, we think, okay, that means that there is an extreme. And if something is extreme, then that means that there's too much. So our brains think, okay, if there is too much, then I'm going to do less. But the reality is, is that balance means that things have to be equal. And if you are staying in a space where it's too quiet, too 
to um, is not serving you, does not excite you, does not lift you up, but you are still staying in that environment even though you are bored, even though you want more, and it is connected to your happiness, then it is imperative for you in order to restore balance, in order to ignite what lights you up, what brings you joy, what brings um, the essence of fun and playfulness into your life again so that you can enjoy life once again because this card this four of cups card i don't want you to carry this in to the rest of the the rest of the year it's just this life that is passed by you and you're just so bored with it you're not happy with it and that's honest so that's what it is that i'm seeing for you if there's new opportunities that are coming in because it's possible there's a potential that something is coming in on the horizon for you that's going to lift you up and light you up and bring you joy then that's what i see as, as this golden opportunity but outside of that Again, say yes to the things that is that bring you joy, that spark you know your your passion again, spark passion and drive and fun into any area of your life that is feeling stagnant. Here, call it in, speak it into existence, and these doors are going to walk. They're just going to open open up for you. But again, the major questions that it is that you want to ask yourself is what is preventing me this month of April from getting everything that it is that I want, everything that it is that I desire, and ask yourself, am I being currently fulfilled? And if not, it's got to go. All right, so that's what it is that I'm seeing for you for the month of April. Aries, make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Leave your comments down below. Make sure that you are checking your um, your rising sign as well as your sun sign in order to get the most from these readings. And then if you're subscribed, turn on your notifications. That way you can see when the next video is that is uploaded and make sure that you're following me on, on Instagram. Okay, that was a mouthful, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye.